since we know that molarity times volume gives us moles of solute, we can use molarity as a conversion factor um, in any dimensional analysis problem. So let's say, for example, we have a reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid that's going to produce sodium chloride and water. A typical question might be something like you have 120 milliliters of 0 0.1 molar NaOH and you want to know the volume of let's say 0.2 molar HCl that will react with that amount of the sodium hydroxide. And so in order to solve a question like this, it's just like the stoichiometry that we did in chapter four. The difference this time is that instead of using mass and going to moles, we're gonna use our volume and our concentration. Um, in this case, it is gonna be important to convert our milliliters into liters so that we can actually get um, moles of whatever our solute is. So we would start off, and, and again, just like in other types of stoichiometry problems, our goal is gonna be to get our sodium hydroxide amount into moles, then convert that to moles of HCl, and then convert that number into a volume. So we start off with our 0 0.1 molar NaOH. And 0 0.1 molar is equal to 0 0.1 moles of NaOH in one liter of NaOH solution. We know that we have 0 0.120 liters of NaOH. Our liters are gonna cancel. That's gonna leave us with moles. Now, from the balanced equation, one mole of NaOH corresponds to one mole of HCl. And we know that our HCl has a concentration of 0.2 moles in one liter. So now we solve that problem. 0.1 times 0 0.120 times 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 times 0 0.2. That's going to give us a final answer, 0 0.60 liters of HCl. So that's how we would use molarity in a stoichiometry problem.